Hello, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Basics video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new Send to Silhouette menu. In the top right hand corner of Silhouette Studio, there's a little button with a check mark that says Send. And this menu looks different than menus in the past. And you can tell just from those few clicks through the menus that there are now steps. Uh, before this menu went from top to bottom, now it goes from left to right. So the first option is your material. You're going to select the material that you want to cut on the menu, or you can add a new material if the material you're using is not on the list. You also have the option to edit the selected material. So for example, if you're cutting glitter cardstock and you know that these particular speeds don't work, you have the option to either edit here in a change the settings that are predefined, or you can change it specifically for this one cut using the buttons down here at the bottom left-hand portion of the screen. After you set up your material, you're going to click on action, and it's going to tell you exactly what each tool is going to do. For a simple cut, most of the cuts will be completed by tool one, but if you're doing something more complicated, such as cut by line color, you may have to go through the process of setting up these menus for tool one and tool two. The third step is to actually send your design to your Cameo or your portrait or Curio, whatever machine you're using. What's new is it actually does give you steps to show you what steps that you'll need to take before you actually click send down here. So if you're using the uh, previous ratchet blade, you're going to go ahead and spin it around and select the depth. For this particular item that I chose, it's saying that it needs to be at a depth six. If you're using an auto blade, you'll get a different set of pictures or images here. So each step will show you what you need to do. So setting the blade, placing it back in the housing, preparing your material on the cutting mat, assuring that your rollers are in the correct position to load the cutting mat, actually loading the cutting mat into the machine and then clicking send. So that's it for the Silhouette Basics video. Hopefully this helps any of you who have been confused about the new Send to Silhouette menu. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.